this evening in the sight of God and in the presence of these family members and friends to witness the renewal of the wedding vows of Drs. John and Lachelle Edmerson. They come to renew that covenant taken June 27, 1969. They are honored that you are here to share this special day with them. We as a family and friends rejoice in their continuing love for each other. We are grateful for the ties of love which bind us together, giving dignity, meaning, worth, and joy to all our days. As a public affirmation, they commit to a love that involves the unselfish giving to one another, not in the attitude of duty, or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. They agree to accept each other totally, creating a safe and loving space for each other to grow as individuals and partners and to mature in the faith and unshakable trust they have for each other. Now, Dr. Flowers will please say the opening prayer. Let us go to prayer. Oh God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what was, what is, and what will be as long as we continue to stay faithful. This time we come to you especially on behalf of John and Michelle Edison. We're thankful for 50 years of love, of commitment, and of spiritual sacrifice that led up to this point. We're thankful for that example. We're thankful for the children that are birthed from their union, who will continue to plant the seeds of their example. Father, we ask as they continue to matriculate in marriage, Father, that you will only give them uh, fresh feelings toward one another, fresh love, fresh commitment, as they live day by day, continuing uh, to decide to love one another because they first love you. 
Father, we're thankful for the marital commitment. We're thankful for what it means. We're thankful that for this call the man left father and mother and cleaves unto his wife and they become one flesh. Father, bless each and every one of us as they love you, love each other, and we love them. Father, we need you. We love you every facet of our lives. Keep us in all of our lives. All these things we ask in Jesus' most precious and natural sake. Amen. Amen. each and the other. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and not bring it up later. Let me say that one again. <laughs> it is having the capacity to forgive and not bring it up later. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Always remember, relationships are something that must be worked on all the time. Not only when they are broken and need to be fixed. Never stop doing the things that brought you together in the first place. On our wedding day. On our wedding day. 
I want you to know. I want you to know that my love and my love and commitment and commitment to you to you is even stronger is even stronger than it was than it was because of what we have shared because of what we have shared together together. I love you more. I love you more with each passing day with each passing day. Remembering your wedding vows made 50 years ago on June 27, 1969, is it your intention that you now reaffirm these vows? If so, please say loudly, yes it is. Yes it is. <laughs> All right. All right. Dad, please repeat after me. In the name of God, in the name of God, I John, I John, promise, promise to continue to love, continue to love, cherish, cherish, and protect Lachelle, and protect Lachelle, whose hand I now hold, whose hand I now hold, and provide for her, and provide for her in health and sickness, in health and sickness, and to be true, and to be true, and faithful to her, and faithful to her. I say these words. I say these words because I love you. Because I love you. And choose to continue. And choose to continue to live. To live the rest of my life with you. The rest of my life with you. I. I renew my vows. I renew my vows to honor. To honor and respect and to respect you. You as my wife. As my wife. Okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of God, in the name of God, I will shall, I will shall, promise to continue to love, promise to continue to love, cherish, cherish, and protect, and protect, John, John, whose hand, whose hand, I now hold, I now hold, and provide for him, and provide for him, in health and sickness, in health and sickness, and to be true, and to be true, and faithful, and faithful, to him, to him. I say these words. I say these words because I love you. Because I love you. And choose. And choose to continue. To continue to live the rest of my life. Live the rest of my life with you. With you. I renew my vow. I renew my vow to honor. To honor and respect. And respect you. You as my husband. As my husband. As you enter the ceremony, you are given a special stone. Would you please take that stone in your right hand, your hand of blessing? There are people and cultures that understand that all matter created by God is in constant motion. Spiritually, they believe that similar to how a CD can record a voice, these stones can record and hold a thought, a prayer, or a blessing. At this time, we invite you to silently offer a prayer or a blessing for John and Michelle. Continued marital journey. Thank you. As you leave the ceremony, we ask you to return the stone to the bowl. The bowl will now be displayed in John Rochelle's home, where it will forever radiate all your beautiful wishes for them on this sacred day. If there is anything you remember of this renewal of our ceremony, it is that it was love that brought you here today. It is only love that can make it a glorious union, and it is by love that your marriage shall endure. Whatever the situation, love, understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness can make everything right. May that special love you now share continue to grow and blossom in the years to come and be sustained 
by the divine, by family, by friends, and by the commitment you made again this day. By the power vested in me by God, and the authority given to me by the state of Ohio as a Christian pastor, I now declare your original wedding vows to be renewed. May this fresh new start reaffirm your love, commitment, and devotion to each other. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to ask Brother Jasper to please come and give us a prayer of consecration. I'd like to say one what a great, two words, what a great example. A wonderful example of 50 years. And if you can look to this prayer and say, maybe we can reach that us. Let us pray. Most gracious of Heavenly Father, we approach that throne in the name of your Son Jesus with so much thanksgiving and love in our hearts at this time, especially for Jonathan Sheriff Emerson and the entire family and friends here. What a wonderful, wonderful thing this has been. Let us never forget this wonderful occasion. We ask for Heavenly Father that you will continue to be with them and may they ever strive to be more closer together. Just stay with one another as the Lord would have it. We have to realize uh, that this is a wonderful day for them. It's a day that uh, we will never forget, and they will never forget. Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with each, with each and every one of us, and may we also look to you for what's coming up. For we ask you to pray this in the precious and the mighty name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Jasper. Dr. John and Lachelle Edmerson, as Peter writes in his letter, I now invite you to greet one another with a quick kiss of love. <laughs> Thank you. Where's the pro? Got it. Okay. Thank you. Some scholars speculate that cultural significance of the broom dates back to a region in West Africa that is now called Ghana. The area is occupied by the Asante ethnic group were reportedly well kept due to the extreme use of local customized brooms. Brooms were also used in marriage ceremonies where they waved over marrying couples, serving as a way to remove evil spirits and or sweep off past wrongs in order to start anew. Most times, at the end of the marriage ceremony, couples would jump to broom, representing a new Again, now if you step over the road, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 